What's up, YouTube? Gridbot Guru here, and I've seen a lot of people on Discord talking about, hey, how do I set up a Gridbot? What do I do? Well, are these parameters good? Really, there's no right or wrong answer on those. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to get into a little bit of the, the, the smaller details of some of these things and kind of give you an idea of what you are looking at. So the first thing you're going to need to do, if you have a coin or a pair that you are wanting to trade, go up here and search for it. Okay, so that's what that's the first thing you're going to end up doing. Um, we'll do um, XTZ. Uh, that's one that I, I'm interested in. I enjoy trading it. So um, you're then going to click on it. Okay, you're going to click on it. It's going to, you're going to make sure that up here, um, above, right under where it says leaderboard, that it says XTZ USDT. And then what you're going to do is you're going to click on trade. This is all of your bots that you could potentially use. So, like I said, I'm just going to set up a normal grid bot and I'm going to click, click create. It is automatically going to set you up with some AI parameters. So it says use AI strategy. You can use that. And you can click create and you can call it a day. Right now, if you see anything red, so you see that it is red where it says available balance, that means that I don't have enough to run this bot yet. So I need to adjust it, see if I can't get it. I don't even have enough to run the actual bot, I don't believe. Okay, yeah. Oh, no, I do. I do. I'm sorry. I do. So I could end up, click create, and there you go. There you go. So you could end, I could end up running this bot. The low range would be 2.8714, and the high range would be 6.032. Now that range will be broken up into 99 different buys and sells. And the profit per grid would be around 0.43% through 1.02%. Okay. And my initial investment will be $57.8795 in USDT. All right. Now you can also go and you can set this up yourself. Okay. So I could go in here, and what you can end up doing, say you have a good idea, say you're looking at the chart, and you're like, you know what, I don't think it's going to drop past $3. So you can go ahead and set your parameters, okay? And you could say, you know what, I'm going to put $3 in here. And then you could say, ah, uh, you know what, I don't like the 302 I just want it at $6. And you could end up making your own grid. If you want to increase the number of grids, so if you feel like it's going to be uh, trading within $3 to $6 for a long time and you want to catch some of those fluctuations in price, you can put in 150 grids, up to 150 grids. There should be, I've heard talks about an update up to 500 grids. I've not seen it yet. So as of right now, you can either do, you can do anywhere from between two and 150 grids. Now, down here with the total investment, that is going to be, it's going to tell you how much you need to have. You need to have at least $25.0776 to start. And the 57.8795, that is my total investment. So there's not really a maximum you could do on this. If I had, you know, $10,000, I could still do it. However, right now my maximum is 57 because that's all I have free in my account currently. You can also use a slider. So you can end up using the slider to adjust it. So you're like, you know what? I just want to do half of my, um, half of my, my free money, 289397. There you go. Boom. Okay. Um, Arithmic, 
geometric we will talk a little bit more about that in another video but you do have the ability to change that you also have some advanced settings so if you want to put a stop loss in say you say you're sitting there and you're like you know what if it drops down to two dollars i just want this i just want it to be done you can put two dollars in here and that's going to be your stop loss if you want to take profit i usually do a take profit at the very top of my grid so on this one, my top would be $6. So I would say, okay, even if it just wicks up and hits that $6 mark, it's going to take all the profit it can. And then you can also put a trigger price in, which means that you won't have the bot start until it hits that price. So right now it is trading at four, four ninety-five, $4.96.04. If you're like, you know what? It's my grid is between $3 and $5, but I don't want my actual grid to start until $3.50. There you go. So that grid will sit there in holding until $3.50 is touched. And once it's touched, that will trigger a market buy for some of your coins, some of your tokens. And what will end up happening is the grid will automatically populate itself. So then your um, entry price will be $3.50 instead of right now, current price will be $4.95. So you have potential to start your grid at a lower area, okay? Now, if I had some X XTZ that I was holding onto, I could click this and it would end up using my XTZ as starting, okay? So for to start the grid. So say I bought some XTZ at, uh, back when it was like $2, and I was like, you know what, I'm just going to hold it. And now I'm like, you know what, I want to free it up, but I want to I use it. That is going to be where you can end up toggling that switch, and you can end up using that XTZ, all right? All right, guys, like I said, that is the basics behind a trading bot, the standard grid trading bot. Again, if you like this video, please subscribe. I am going to work on getting more videos out. Um, I do watch Discord. I do listen to what you guys are asking. I do have a, um, a, a sheet that I've been writing these questions down for clarification. If you guys enjoyed it, subscribe, hit the bell. That way you know when another video is coming out. Happy trading. Stay green, y'all.